Okay, guys, so check this out. Despite R. Kelly threatening legal action against Lifetime, the station aired the first of their six-part series, Surviving R. Kelly, on Thursday night. The docuseries dives into the sexual history of Kelly and interviews over 50 women that claim they are victims of sexual, physical, or mental abuse. The stories of R. Kelly's sexual exploits have been revolving around the industry for years, but Surviving R. Kelly escalates the conversation with some truly hard-to-stomach evidence. These are women who lived in his house and studio for years and had the same story about being forbidden to talk, the show's executive producer Dream Hampton told Complex. So once those women become free of those barriers, they're looking to connect with each other, to know that they weren't the only ones. Those women are from different decades. We had to find women from different decades who had near identical stories of being denied food, denied movement in the house, denied conversation with other human beings, physical abuse again and again. After the episode aired, several celebrities took to Twitter to speak about the emotional display. John Legend, who was featured on the show, wasn't shy about letting his feelings about R. Kelly out. I believe these women and don't give a f about protecting a serial child rapist he tweeted. Kerry Washington also took to Twitter to express her feelings on the documentary. She said, hashtag surviving R. Kelly is the number one trending topic on Twitter. Amen, speaking truth to power. So what do you guys think? Did you watch the first episode of Surviving R. Kelly last night? Let us know your thoughts on the documentary and whether or not you feel as though Jay-Z and Erica Badu should have been a part of it and not declined participating in it. Hit that subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date on all our new videos. And as always, make sure to keep it all the way locked to hiphopdx.com.